Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to explore a variety of count functions in Excel. All right, so I've got a spreadsheet set up, and I want to try some different count functions to get a really good understanding of how they work so that I can use them in the future. So first one I'm going to try is right over here in my cell D11. I'm going to go ahead and put in equals count. So I'm just going to use the regular count function, and I'm going to select a range of cells, closing parentheses, and press Enter. So I'm counting in D2 through D10, and I see my result is 3. This helps confirm that the basic count function is simply counting numeric values. I have 3 numeric values in that particular range. So if I had a fourth numeric val value, there we go, my count goes up to 4, and if I had a fifth numeric value, goes up to 5. So that's the basic count function. Looks for numbers within a range. Now let's look at count A. Equals count A parentheses. I'm going to select the range in question, closing parentheses, and enter. And I get a result of 7. So the count A function is looking at any non-blank cells. Whether it contains a number or text, it gets counted. So I can put a number that raises my count to 8, and I can put in some more text, raises my count to 9. So the count counts numbers. Count A counts any values or any non-empty cells. Now count blank, this should be pretty easy to figure out what this one's going to do, equals count blank parentheses. I'll select the range in question, closing parentheses, enter, and we get two, because there are two blank cells in this particular range. So if I were to delete a value, a number, my count goes up to three. If I delete a cell that contains text, my count moves up to four. So count blank, pretty self-explanatory. Now for count if. Count if lets us put in a criteria to be very specific. So equals count if and then within my parentheses, I'm going to select the range that I want, comma, and then my criteria. In this case, my criteria is going to be the word text. So I'm going to use quotation mark, text, quotation mark, closing parentheses. So if you put in any non-numeric value in a count if, you do need to close it within the double quotes. I'm going to press Enter, and of course, I get a count of two. And if I were to add the word text, Again, my count goes up to 3, and again, my count goes up to 4. So I'm counting specifically for this particular event text. I could also count for some numeric values. You see that I have three numer uh, numeric values in there. I could count for anything greater than 500. Notice I'm still using quotes on this, even though I say greater than 500, because of that greater than symbol. And I've only got one cell that's greater than 500. If I change this to greater than 400, of course, my count goes up to 2 because I have a 456 and a 789. I'm going to change this back to text, though. OK, now for count ifs. Count ifs is neat because it allows us to put in multiple ranges and multiple sets of criteria, but it also limits our results, kind of like an AND function might. So I'm going to create a equals count ifs. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count in the range of G2 to G10, and my criteria is going to be the word text in quotes. Then I type a comma, and I can do another range, range number two. Range number two is going to be H2 through H10, comma, and now the range, or I'm sorry, the criteria for that second range. For this one, I'll do greater than 500, and of course I'm putting that in quotes, greater than 500, closing parentheses. So I have two criteria, um, two ranges, two criteria. The range G2 to G10, I'm looking for the word text. And then in H2 to H10, I'm looking for a value greater than 500. I'm going to press Enter, and my result is 2. Now, I do have four instances of the word text. However, my count is only getting two because only two of these occurrences contain a value greater than 500. So there it is, text and 688. And down here, 
text in 730. So I'm looking not only for an occurrence of the word text in my first criteria, but I'm looking to see which of those four also has a value greater than 500. So much more limiting result. And of course, if I were to change this 228 to 728, my count moves up to three. And if I were to take this 730 and drop it down to 300 below 500, my count moves back down to two. So that's a count ifs function and allows you to put in multiple sets of criteria, multiple ranges, multiple criteria to really limit the results that you get. So those are some of the uh, count related functions that I use the most. Count, count A, count blank, count if, and count ifs. Take care.